Hello and welcome back to Talk of the Titans. Today I'm joined by another very special guest in Kedwin Scott, Gated Striker. How are you doing, Kedwin? Oh, All right, thanks. How are you? I'm absolutely fine. Thank you very much. Now, just to start a little bit about your career, you started in your youth career at Huddersfield Town. So how was your time there? Yeah, yeah, thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, played in like a representative game from the northeast. Uh, we went down, played them, and then there was a couple of us who wanted to come back in for a trial. So went there and spent about four and a half years there. Mm. And then, of course, once you turned pro, you, you went up to Scotland for a little while. You played for Dundee, Berwick and Forfar. So what was it like north of the border? Yeah, it was good. Uh, it was all men's football up there. So it was competitive and, and gave me a good experience and stood me in a good stead. And then, obviously, you, you came back down to the northeast, which is where you're from, pretty much. Uh, Dunstan, Hebben, Car- well, Carlisle's a bit further west, of course. But coming back into to England, was that any different to the, the Scottish game or was it quite similar? Yeah, no, it was quite similar. Uh, very physical. Um just like it is all over England. Um, it was initially part-time, which was a bit different to what I was used to. Uh, although when I was on loan at Forfa and, and Berwick, they played part-time, so it didn't really take much adjusting to. Um, but yeah, no, it was more or less similar. And of course, you signed for Gateshead in the summer and, and, and the pre-season was, was really good. So how, how well have you settled in at the Heed? Uh, really well. Uh, all the lads are fantastic, to be honest. Um, make you feel really welcome and and settle you in um, so that's always good and then that, I think that translates onto the pitch when you've got good relationships with people off the pitch then you're always going to play better on it and of course you're under the stewardship <laughs> of, uh, of Mike Williamson and Busted or Ian Watson uh, so what's it like to play under them and what's their philosophy like in terms of football uh, it's very much how I like to play football which which suits me down with T um, both very intelligent coaches who, who know that what they're talking about Um and work really hard in training and it's not just training for the sake of it it's with a purpose which is good um and you're always learning um which is, is class as well yeah um of course pre-season was was very good you scored a good few goals in pre-season and gated wood all but one of their games so was was the pre-season valuable in, in terms of going into this new season yeah definitely um because we played quite a few local teams, which was good as well, because it um, sort of gets the whole northeast knowing each other and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, we had some difficult games as well, which I thought we did very well in. Obviously, disappointing to lose the last one, but you can't complain winning six out of the seven. And, and, and the season itself has started very well. Uh, uh, seven points out of a possible nine. Obviously, two home wins and a couple of goals for yourself. You must be pleased with the start that the team has made to the to the National League North campaign? Yeah, we're pleased, but I, I know I am personally, but I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed with the, the point we had at Chester because I think we mm. deserved all three, if I'm honest. Um, but no, I think seven out of a possible nine is a pretty good start and hopefully we can keep that up. Obviously, you mentioned the camaraderie in the dressing room as well. So with with the capability that the, the team has already shown at the start of the season and in pre-season, what's, what's the realistic aim for this campaign? Is it top half or was it promotion or was it even the title? What do you think? I think the sky's the limit with the group so far um, from what I've seen in pre-season. Um, I think everyone's on the same page. We want to win every every single game we, we play but we know that's not going to be possible. Um, I don't think we'll go the season unbeaten but we fancy ourselves in every single game. And Obviously, you mentioned that the, the, the late draw against Chester. How disappointing was that to concede so late on after you'd been winning for for some time in that match? Obviously, it's a big blow and it, it takes a lot out of you. Um, but we had the game Monday, didn't we? So we had to turn around quickly. And after winning that, I think it, it makes it a much better point than if we had have lost that game on Monday. If we lost on Monday and drawn on Saturday, then you look at the Chester game and you think, oh, what a shame. But, you know, it's, a, it's an extra point and it come back at the end of the season, it might be a valuable one. Of course, as well, as a striker at Gate said, you, you you play alongside uh, Paul Blackett, Adam Campbell, Macaulay Langston, to name a few. So, what's it like to have such good striking partners up there, and and how do you feed off them as much as they feed off you? It's good because we play like a a number of systems. Sometimes we play two up, sometimes we play three, sometimes we play two two up, two wide th- th- across a uh, front three. So it it gives us loads of options and. Hopefully that means we can all play more minutes because we're adaptable. 
And as you've seen on Saturday, obviously, I like to score every time I... Uh, sorry, Monday. I like to score every time I play, but Mac has done the job on um, on Monday, scoring a couple of goals, and and uh, Paul Blackett will do a job, Adam Cam will do a job. Hopefully, we'll all get loads of goals between us. Now, McCoy Langstaff mentioned he had put like some of a sort of target in terms of goal scoring. So, do you set yourself any targets for this for this season or in any season you play in terms of goals or assists or or whatever? Uh, like I said, when when I mentioned the team, we, we we're competitive in every game. We we like to look at every game and think, yeah, we can win this. I'm the same. Every game I play, I think, oh, yeah, I can score in this. There's no reason why I can't score in this. So every time I play, I want to score. But unfortunately, on Saturday, I haven't. But then in another game, I'll pick up two, maybe three. So it evens itself out. I just want to score every time I play. And and finally, going into this weekend as well, another game. What what's your thoughts on it? Uh, it's we've got three away now, so yeah, three difficult games. There's no easy game in this league. As we found out, even when we think we're comfortable, if we don't see the game out properly, then the other team's always in it. So we'll go down there with the right mentality and, and just build on what we've done so far, hopefully. Spot on. Kedwin, thank you very much. I appreciate no that. So that does some things up. So thank you all very much for watching. And how are the heed?